Here's another sawtooth generator. In fact, it's a bi stable multi vibrator. And in this part of the circuit, you will find again that the capacitor is charged and it's shortcut on a certain moment by this uh, transistor. I found that when I used a diode here, it had a dramatic uh, effect on the waveform. So, um, I can show it now. This is the circuit with the, di with the diode connected. And this is without the diode. And you can see that the sawtooth, this is the sound, has a complete other waveform. So there's here also a period in which the signal is uh, square wave like. So it's a sawtooth, you can see it, he see it here, but this period is uh, square wave like. But when I switch on the diode, the waveform is much more like a sawtooth. And here it is again, the circuit. This is a diode that I switch on. And of course, by changing these um, potentiometer values here and here, also the frequency can be changed a lot. So now I want to uh, change this value here, it's this potentiometer. You can also see that the amplitude changes. And now I change this potentiometer. It's here, this, this one. The frequency changes and also the amplitude. But I think it's a useful circuit. And when you change, of course, C1 or C2, the whole uh, frequency band uh, gets different. So you will find totally other frequencies. That's something to um, experiment with. Wish you luck with this circuit.